Hey guys, welcome back to Cheat Day, where we're making dreams come true. Or crushing them, depending on what we are presented with. That's right. Does this make any sense to you? It will, because we're doing Shark Tank foods. We're talking about Shark Tank, and if you've never seen the show, then like, whatever, we're just eating food and it'll still be entertaining, all right? That's correct, okay? All right, so I know that you're not a huge shark fan watcher. Have you well, ever seen? Well, I'm a fan of sharks. Okay. And, and watching tanks, sharks. You know. And tanks are cool. Tanks are cool. Tanks are very cool. Yeah. I watched a whole series on Netflix about tanks. Yeah, this actually has nothing to do with sharks or tanks, really. It's really like a metaphor. Ah. But basically, people come to these sharks or investors with ideas, yeah. grand ideas, or some of them are really bad. That makes you think if I were one of the Shark Tank investors and somebody brought me Shark Tank, the Shark Tank show, I'd be like, so you're selling me a lie, basically. There's no sharks. And there's no tanks. Why are you calling it Shark Tank? It's a metaphor. It works. I promise it's beautiful. You have to you. watch it. This has to go on television. Do you agree with me? I do feel very enthusiastic about the comedy inherent yes. to the neo-feudalism that is late stage capitalism. I have no idea what the hell you are saying, all right? Ooh. Ooh, this is like right up your alley, Jarrett. Super coffee! Yeah. Protein plus MCT oil. MCT oil, tell us about it. Medium chain triglycerides. It's the part of coconut oil that's good for your brain. They would do like coconut oil and, and butter and you blend them up with your coffee, that bulletproof coffee. By bonding caffeine to fat cells, you uh -huh. digest it more slowly. Oh, interesting, yeah, interesting. So it's like a more sustained, less of a crashy buzz to the caffeine. He's just one of you 16,000. Well, this says, their whole thing is like, it says positive energy, zero grams of sugar, only 80 calories. That's pretty good for coffee. All right, let's do this. Okay, would so you, you have original flavors? flavors? Mine's original, what's yours? Vanilla. Is there dairy in this? There's this no dairy. Is, no, it's lactose free, dude. No sugar, okay. Did you have coffee today? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, really? I wouldn't, I didn't know, I would have never guessed. Maybe we should just like let you have a, okay. Innovating. Okay, ready? Smells good. I'm in. I like this. I like this so much. It's really sweet. Yours is, mine is very not sweet. Oh, see, this mine's mine vanilla, right? It's Oh, it says naturally sweetened. What does mm. that mean? How can it be naturally sweetened well, if there's no sugar in it? Unsweetened. Wait, that is a weird question. How is yours sweetened? What's in yours? Let me taste. Whoa. Very sweet. Oh, woo. You think it's, oh, monk fruit. That's what it is. Oh, interesting. Your one. I like this better. I like yours better too. And also I never put sugar in my coffee. So to me, it's like, that's not a big draw. You know, I'm a little bit of a coffee snob. Really? I just never, I, I'll do this in a pinch, yeah. but it's hard for me to like, you know what I mean? So it's like, so you... different when you just brew it. It's so different right. when it's hot. Right, right. No, I totally get it. I think you're about two years too late to really ride mm. the crest mm. of that bulletproof wave. I actually really do agree with that. You know? But mm. I also think that there is a whole new market opened up of people where it's just a thing now to right. have buttered coffee. I think you'd see modest but healthy returns. Yeah. Thanks. So I'm in. Based on the fact that I was given a vanilla one and it tastes like butt, I would be out for sure. I'm definitely out. Ooh, nuts and more. High protein and flax peanut butter. So like, here's the thing about Shark Tank foods. I feel like, yours is cookie butter. Mine's cookie, Wow, how dare you? I feel like the foods that end up on Shark Tank are all really healthy for some reason because everyone's like, oh, this is something new and like that's what really what people are into you these know, days. Yeah, I think you're right. I was gonna say it's very funny. They're very like life hacky foods. Right, exactly. Like here's a way to get all of your fats without like, you know, yeah. having to eat anything. So what actually is this? Um, peanut oil, flax oil. So it is, it's basically some. Mm. The hell? You all right? It's a childproof block on it. If Don't this is on the show, they'd edit this part with some like like scary sounding music and then they'd show cuts of like the person being like, who's like trying to sell it because it'd be like, how do you, I don't, and now my hands, I'm out. This is too hard to open. But the way to really test peanut butter is like, how does it spread yeah. on a cracker? I'm gonna eat this now, okay? Please do. What's the verdict? Doesn't really taste like much. <laughs> Ew. My brain is firing on so many cylinders right now. I got ideas, I got ideas, I got ideas. Take a note, take a note. I, uh, I'm a shark. I feel uh, like Tony Stark. We should call it Tony's <laughs> Shark Week. To Tony Stark Tank. Mm, I don't like it as much. 
I think I'm done with this. I'll finish it. It's I a little I, sweet. I think I've watched you eat enough of it. Okay, well, as longtime watchers of Cheat Day will know, I'm a protein enthusiast. Mm -hmm. I think the recommended values of protein are far too low. I do approve of this, like, hacking normal foods by just adding some protein, because they don't really change anything about it. So you're in. I'm in. Peanut butter's supposed to be thick. It's fine. Yeah, and I think if this is really what, this says high protein, and if this is the purpose of this peanut butter, is for people who love protein, like you, Thank then you. I would be in on it too, because if I could taste the protein, then you obviously did your job right. Robert's going into more. Mark loved it. You know, Heidi, I'm gonna make you an offer. Woo! Ooh. Wait, this is Shark Tank also? They're called Phantom Bagels. I love the idea that Starbucks would be on Shark Tank. No, like they some guy did. would be in so, and be like, hello, I'm Starbucks. <laughs> Wait, so is Starbucks on a truck or somebody else and now they sold their product to Starbucks? They sold their product to Starbucks. They're so cute. They are really cute. I do like this idea a lot. Uh -huh. I'm gonna eat it. Okay. Is there something inside of this? It's like a cream puff. I, I really freaked out for a second because something like went in my mouth and I was like, what the hell? All right, ready? But now I know it's cream cheese, it's fine. We can eat it again. Just, 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 just move past it. Just move past it. Just move okay. past it. Okay. This would be better. They'd be better hot. Better yeah. yeah. Isn't this something that like Starbucks have just done on their own? Right? It does feel like one of those like, how do they never f in? <laughs> They're like, hey, we've been making all these bagels. Why don't we just, oh, we can just. I guess that's why that person's probably really, really rich, you know? Because they're the ones that always, actually yes. did it. Okay, all right, I get it. All right. all right. I get it. It's a good idea. Let's talk about it. And just to make him feel worse, I would keep being like, can I get that coffee back? This is good. This is good. This is good. Okay, let's talk about your thing. They're not gonna like that Let at all. Let them decide for themselves, Lori. I'm just saying. No, Robert, I'm definitely in. I mean, I'm definitely in on it. I mean, in it's heart. obviously like yeah. something I love anyways, so I guess I'll be in, but like, yeah. I'm just like annoyed that like, I don't, you know, push my ideas. Cause like, this is nothing. Completely. What have we here? It's a draft pour, so is it like take your can of beer and make it a draft oh, beer? Oh, it's a quick start. Oh, it's a guy. I like this idea a lot, actually. I do too. How do you feel about beer in general? I like beer a lot. Okay, it, me it too. It makes my guts feel like a little burpy. Me too. Turn system counterclockwise to open. Aha. Okay, step number two. Insert any can or bottle. Wait, do I have to open it? Probably, right? Insert oh, they draft didn't put that turn instruction system. there, did they? They did not. They did not. Again. Oh, so it's missing. Okay, so we need a little R&D. Okay, we'll talk about it if we invest. If I was on Shark Tank and you were the shark, I would like leave crying. All right, put the tube in the beer can. Copy that. Mm -hmm. All right, good job. Okay. And then turn clockwise to lock. Engaged. Hold the glass at a 60 degree angle, like you know how the bartenders do it? Uh-huh, like the bartenders do. Directly under the faucet. Maybe you don't need to put open it. Maybe this is taps it itself. That was like the worst board. This is why I don't understand it. Why don't you just do it? Do we have another glass? Hold on, I need to prove myself. 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 I can do this. <laughs> this is not my fault. This is the thing. If this doesn't work. Now it's working, right? Yeah, it probably was just broken the first time. It's a little better. But see, can't you just do this without this? It's easier just, to do like, with just the can. Cheers. Well, that's a good beer, which has nothing to do with really this, good. but that's very good. Wait, so what is the point of this? To get a draft beer and be bougie and like be like, basically like a douche at your next party. Great name. That's very good. I love a pun. I'm but investing yeah. in this because I think this will do very well in the um, airplane community. catalog market. Take it or leave it. Yeah, 24 seconds. If this is healthy beef jerky and it's turkey, then I can't eat it. What do you mean, what can you not eat? Turkey. You can't eat turkey? That's very specific. No, I can't. I can eat it. I choose not to. Turkey's like just grosses me out. I can't look at it. I can't smell it. And they have vaginas on their necks. So, like it's really not that hard. This says the original filet mignon beef jerky. I don't want to get too preachy, which I do a lot on this show. I was a whole animal butcher for a while. Ooh. A cow's like 800 to 1200 pounds or something of, of animal, of like a living thing that we've been blessed that so many of us can eat from the life of this one thing. Yeah. But if you start doing something that's like, we only use filet mignon, what are you gonna do with the rest of that cow? Dog food? Throw it out? You know what I mean? But anyway. do you think that people bougie enough to make filet mignon beef jerky are really thinking about that cow, which is sad. Yeah. But like well, I would say actually, I think the irony is that the bougiest people are. Because like we read, this is like fake bougie, you know? It's like, oh, it's filet. Like filet's not even that good. It's not even flavorful. Yeah. It's like way like the leanest cut of meat. It doesn't have that much. Anyway. Well, that's interesting. It just smells like ketchup. Yours smells way better than mine. Yeah, well, let's try them. Okay, it is solid jerky. I mean, it's very good, well done jerky. This is really good. 
This is the thing, I feel like. You can know about ethics, but don't lie. Like, don't be like, this is unethical, and it tastes bad because of that. It tastes good. I mean, it's very no, it good. it tastes good. And, and for, for that, that reason, reason, we're in. I just hate your product. I know. This is a great idea. It's a, it's a what is this idea? This is actually the first thing that I feel like is inventive. It is cake in a jar. It's a to-go cake. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh -huh. This is a good idea. You could actually buy this Oof. for a friend for their birthday. I love it. You could eat this by yourself in the car. I love that. You know? Yes. This is a very eat by yourself in the car kind of a I thing. Think, I honestly think it is. Like if you're on your period. Ooh, and they put frosting Ooh, on the top. Ooh. So the shark who invested in this invested $75,000 and made back his investment in 74 days. Who did they sell it to? Anybody. I mean. Uh. All right, ready? Can we eat this? I'm excited. Yeah, I want in. I mean, honestly, like, what's yeah, it like? Like, yeah. seriously. Yeah, this is a tough one to it's criticize. A, it's a freaking cake. Can I taste yours? Sure. I think the idea is so good mm -hmm. that I wish the cake was better. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? They do a good, it's smart that they put the frosting on top because it's really yes. hard to mess up. And also like the, the packaging is perfect. It looks it's like really a real cute. cake. Yours is better. This is like a little bit, somehow the cake feels dry right. in a weird way despite the fact See, that it's so. I don't mind it being like soft as long as I don't feel like it's like, you know like when you leave cake out like in a Tupperware and then you go to it, it's like yeah. got a weird like watery finish on yes. top of it. If the investor made his money back in 74 days, you'd think they'd have better packaging. Like the sticker is like skew on the jar too. You know? This is fine as an iteration. We see what you're going for. We think there's potential here. It's gonna need a little bit of development and that's why you need us. And that's why we deserve 90% ownership for $30. If you want to sit and hear the other offers, mm. do it at your own risk. So we're in on this one or not? We are in on this one. Kinda. I'm in on this. We're in on this. We're in on this. This is this is genius. It's brainless. Again, yeah. we have to brainstorm because I need to come up with something smart. Like I need to make some money. Totally. And even if yeah. you think that these inventions or ideas or whatever aren't that original, you have to admit that like that's what's original about it. Yes. And like there is still something cool about eating something that nobody else, you know, actually did. Even if they thought about it. Anybody right. could say I had that idea, but these people actually did it. And that's inspiring. Well, we're figuring that out and hopefully coming up with our own idea that's gonna make us millions of dollars like cake in a jar. Um, are there any foods from Shark Tank that we miss? Yes. Please. I feel like there has to be. There or must like, be. do you have a favorite Shark Tank food? Because if you do, drop it in the comments below. I think you said it all. Yeah, except for subscribe, the bell. Wait, because okay, subscribe. Hit the bell. Yeah. That'll give you notifications about us being here. Like the video, why not? Oh yeah, that's great. Are you gonna watch Shark Tank now? I think I am Shark Tank now. Oh. All right, I'll take it, that's fine. I don't know if you can tell or not, but you guys, Cheat Day is back. We are so excited, and if you liked this video, you have to click right here for another Clever Style video, or if you're new to the fam, you gotta click that button to subscribe to our channel. Come on!